Hi there, I'm Libby. Um, I am performing the role of Puss in Cannibals of the Heart or Louisa Adams Writes a Play. This is my first live show that I've done with Vanilla Box Productions, but I have done two virtual shows previously. I played Tilly in She Kills Monsters and I was a performer in Listen to Your Mother this past Mother's Day. My favorite role that I've done or show, uh, this is always a tough question for me because I've done so many shows and so many roles. Um, I'd say that my favorite show that I've ever done was probably Spamalot, which was several years ago. Um, I think my favorite role would probably be Elaine Robinson in The Graduate. It was just such a fun role and kind of an emotionally challenging role too. Uh, I had so much fun with her um, and it was just a fun show overall. It was a fun role to play. Big emotional roller coaster of a person. What is my bucket list role? <laughs> I always hate this question because I have so many roles that I really want to play. So if I had to like pick two, I would probably say Princess Fiona in Shrek the Musical or Princess Winifred in Once Upon a Mattress. Um, similar characters, both strong independent women who are quirky, but I mean, how can you say no to a rat tap, really? <laughs> when I'm not on stage, I could probably found at work <laughs> or maybe with my niece and nephew. They're the cutest little nuggets in the world, and I'm so lucky to have them and their parents in my life. Um, or Disney World, but I'm not gonna expand into that. Obviously, I'm a fan and a former cast member. How would I describe my characters? Um, Puss is so, so, so much fun. She's got so much energy and passion. Um, she's, like, clearly not the brightest, but she's, she's just, she's so kind, and she has such a big heart. She's willing to learn so much, and she's just excited about everything, and she definitely had ADHD before it could be diagnosed in the 19th century. <laughs> and I do play some other smaller characters throughout the show. In Louisa's play, I play um, Paula, who is, well, for lack of a better word, a whore. <laughs> um, I play Louisa's niece, Mary, and then I play a woman named Eliza. They're all very different characters um, than Puss. So, so Puss is very young, naive, kind of daft, <laughs> kind of is a stretch. She's, she's pretty, pretty daft. Um, the other real, the other women really don't possess the like kind and caring qualities that Puss does though. She's very, she's just a loving person and she loves everybody and uh, the other women Paula, Mary, Eliza, they have some sort of ulterior motive that is pushing them to do what they do um, and Puss doesn't really do that she just kind of does what feels right and you know what she can do to help people in the moment. So I think the most difficult thing about this show is not necessarily having to play so many different characters because it's something that you do, especially when you're in a musical um, and you have an ensemble role and you're flip-flopping between different numbers and having to create different characters for each number. So that's kind of something that I'm used to. Um, however, I think the most difficult thing is probably trying to figure out how Puss would portray those characters and go from Puss to somebody else and with a switch. Um, because it's a play within a play, which is a very difficult thing sometimes to do, and I have to think about not how Libby would portray somebody like Paula, I have to think about how Puss would portray Paula. So it's, it's quite an interesting thing to explore, and I think the only thing that's possibly similar to them is that they're all kind of strong, outspoken women. Um, they're also pretty confident in their sexuality, which is a really fun thing to explore. What's it like trying to take on a straight play instead of a musical? I mean, as much as I love musicals and I am a huge musical person, I adore doing straight plays because it allows you to just really create a character more in depth than you necessarily would with a musical. Like, it gives you more of the opportunity to really dive into a character and think about their motivation and, you know, their backstory. Um, whereas in a musical, especially in your if you're in a smaller role, more of an ensemble position, you have to create several different little characters. I, I really do love straight plays. I think it gives you a really good chance to do some character exploration. Um, and some of my favorite shows really have been straight plays just because you kind of get to, um, you know, strengthen your acting chops a little bit. <laughs> so I hope I didn't ramble too much and I hope that you all come to see Cannibals of the Heart. I am looking forward to seeing you all. Toot toot.